maybe it's time to get a different shot of something else. So I, I drove down the road here and I see that they have this huge uh, semi truck here. I don't know what we're calling this, a flatbed truck maybe, maybe that's the correct term. And they have some large, large, large beams on it. These are probably for the higher, wider bay in development in the back there. So I, I want to be sure to see if I can get some footage of this. And it's kind of interesting and fun, so. The year is 2022. The location is SpaceX. Hey, Tony. Starbase build site. South Texas, Boca Chica. So those beams are probably going to go back there to the extra large base of station 240. That's a good, uh, I like that. I like that phrase, extra large bay. That makes sense. Frank, I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. Um, so it's going to be a, a live stream of this area. The main gate at the build site, Starbase build site, everybody. So those are probably beams for that bay back there. And also in the, on the top right there, we can see just to the left of the mid bay, they have the uh, Starship, I believe 21 getting built. And that is the body of it. And the top of Starship 21 is over there on the left, uh, on the ground there. Plus size, says Station 240. Higher and wider bay prefers to be called plus size bay. Plus size, I got you. If they do a, um, a an 18 meter diameter, 18 meter versus, we're doing a nine meter Starship right now, but if they do an 18 meter diameter bay, have they, is that why they made the bays wider? Is uh, in preparation for maybe a 18 meter uh, diameter starship or will they have to build a higher and extra wider bay an even higher extra wider bay for the starship um, with the 18 meter diameter uh, base So uh, some of the recaps from last night's Elon presentation, he said a bunch of the stuff that I'd said uh, a couple days ago, uh, that uh, if, uh, if, if the plans don't come through here for the Bronzeville, Boca Chica area uh, to play nice and uh, let them launch the starships from here, then they would move everything over there to uh, Florida and launch out of Florida and use this as a research location and a lot of the schools probably, he didn't say this part, but a lot of the schools and the um, benefits that might come to the area if they launched a thousand starships out of this location would go to Florida and the schools in this location would suffer. So sad, the schools would suffer and there'd be a lot of money that wouldn't be coming to Brownsville, but instead would be going to, you guessed it, Florida. They'd be going to Florida. And they would do a lot of more offshore stuff off the oil rigs. I didn't say that part. So that is a elaboration by Elon that I did not mention. He said they were going to uh, increase their um, uh, off, off, uh, off the coast uh, launches um, of these starships. And that, that was pretty cool. I didn't expect that to come out. But um, yeah. So, uh, you know, he's a player and the SpaceX is a player in the game of life. And in business, you got to make the you got to make the uh, big moves. If uh, there's uh, because we live in a peaceful society, he is uh, in in the, in the old, in the, you know in the olden days, in uh, maybe in the Middle Ages, um, if someone said you can't do something, that would be a good good reason to go to war and start uh, killing the other tribe. But since this, we are in a peaceful time, Elon's response is okay. I might have to move and launch out of Florida, so. That's what happens here in the 21st century. I 
again maybe in the uh, maybe in uh, 300 AD or maybe even in the uh, Pharaoh times uh, definitely in the Viking times but in some of the other uh, Middle Eastern maybe today in the some of the Arabic nations I'm not sure I mean even in the in the United States military if someone says the US military would have to stop using oil I'm sure we we have all types of battles in our current day and age uh, over um, the ability to not only to drill for oil not only to supply oil but to maintain the presence of oil as a fuel versus uh, some type of free energy device or something like that so or maybe water fuel there are a number of individuals that come out with um, game-changing technologies in the field of motors and fuel who uh, sometimes they end up missing after they come out with the discovery so Elon is playing nice he's saying hey we're not gonna go to war we're just gonna move to a different state so, anyway I want to highlight that and uh, showcase that the um, these types of things are coming in here so they're gonna use those for the high bay higher wider bay probably and uh, I'll get on camera and um, just do a little little situation update um, Paul and Marcus here Ocean Camera Space Corp it's a pretty uh, overcast day but it is warm and sunny um, this morning some of the things that happened were uh, we fixed the laptop computer. There's a video of uh, Joseph uh, diag uh, doing some diagnosis, doing some uh, um, uh, isopropyl applications to the motherboard and some other stuff, and then figuring out and fixing it. So the laptop is fixed. So I will be able to live stream with a Nikon P1000 again and do that remote camera again. The 24-7 cam is down until I can. Um, now it's uh, the road closure is in effect right now, so I can't get down there and re. Uh, set up that live stream but I will soon maybe this weekend I'll come out again I'm not sure when that road closure is gonna finish today they are doing a cryo test right now over at the launch site and they have the road closed so uh, it looks like they haven't begun any uh, tank farm activity over there and they haven't started the cryo test yet so not sure it's gonna happen uh, before the 4 p.m. end of the road closure but maybe they will extend the road closure I'm going to get out of here because I'm not going to stick around for the next uh, five hours trying to see if they're going to get that thing going and and uh, waste my time here. Um, I, I spent a lot of maybe at least 48 hours over the last several days here on site getting a lot of cool footage and I had a lot of fun. And um, so another big thing that happened today besides the computer getting fixed was the I this morning I sent in a new email to uh, SpaceX asking uh, I had the idea that well maybe I can get on their email list for the future. So they did reply to me, uh, SpaceX Media, media at SpaceX.com replied to me and said, hey, this is the link if you'd like to sign up for future um, SpaceX event notifications uh, alerts. So I, uh, I posted that link here in the community section here on OceanCam and, and also on Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. So if you'd like to sign up and also get notifications of future SpaceX um, happenings, and maybe even that may, may even uh, be the avenue you have to get acceptance to attend an event um, I did sign up and uh, you could sign up as well uh, so that is the second huge thing that happened um, um, and that's about it that's about it the crowd test the computer and the signing up of the alerts um, going forward uh, I'm gonna be resetting up the remote camera um, to the uh, 24 hour site over there and I will, you know, if it's good weather over the weekend, I'll go, go out during the weekend. But uh, I spent a good week out here this week. Um, I spent a lot of time out here. I, I think this past Monday, I wasn't on site, but I think the, the Sunday, right before that Monday, I was on site. So I spent five days out here, uh, even even longer, because I, I spent, uh, I think, about 24 hours, over 24 hours in, in a continuous stretch out here. So, um, And I may take the weekend off. I'm not sure how it's going to go, but if there's some good nice weather out and i'm like uh, maybe i should just come out so i might come out and set up the remote camera i wanted to get some footage over there at the launch site today of uh, them breaking down the stage and all that kind of stuff maybe see if i can get some 
uh, photos. I got a bunch of photos yesterday, but uh, I hadn't formatted the uh, SD card for the Nikon correctly, so that those uh, all those shots I got with my Nikon yesterday didn't didn't save on the micro SD card. So I want to go back and see if I can get some of those shots today. Of the I got a, a bunch of um, zoomed out shots with the iPhone that I'm shooting on right now, but that's a 720 pixelation. I want to see if I can get that 4K imagery with a Nikon like I tried to get yesterday, but uh, the road is closed. And so maybe, maybe this weekend it'll still be there, possibly. Otherwise, next week I'll just roll with it and uh, start again fresh next Monday. It's coming Monday. So, so that's a wrap up. It is Friday, um, uh, February 11, 2022. Got some people dressed up over there. It's kind of interesting. And um, yeah, we got the high bay. We got the higher wider bay or the plus size bay over there we got the starship 21 nose cone uh, we got the starship body of the starship over here i believe this is the mid bay on the right uh, and these are possibly some um, beams for the uh, these sections of the higher wider bay over there that are probably going to get lifted onto the top of that building back there so um, that's the what's going on here this is some type of stand over here i'm not sure what that stands for and uh, yeah, this is the build site, SpaceX, uh, South Texas, uh, Starbase launch uh, build site. South, A South, anyway, this is the build site, South Texas, uh, Starbase, in, 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 you know, the city, the village of Boca Chica. Maybe uh, in the future it'll be called Starbase, Texas. We'll see. So, signing out, I'll check the chat once more and then wrap it up. Wrap it up, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. What do I think about the presentation overall? It says... Uh, quality assurance is not a crime. QA is not a crime. Plus size. Elon says, okay, Elon says it's too much work to design wide rockets. So uh, QA is not a crime. Uh, the presentation, um, one individual in the chat during that evening said, uh, well, left a message that said, uh, well, somebody sent me a message saying that uh, Elon appeared to be not at it, not as you know, under the weather or not at his prime. He wasn't really vibrant and uh, very enthusiastic and everything. He was kind of a, uh, he was, sh let me see. He was barely showing up is uh, basically Elon was not at his prime. He was uh, good enough to be on stage, but not uh, enthusiastically vibrant and captivating you know so that's what I heard and that does seem to that does seem to um, describe uh, his performance last night so maybe he was concerned about ocean cam not being present and that kind of deflated his enthusiasm <laughs> But if he were concerned about Ocean Cam not being present, he should have just had one of his people come down to get me. Because <laughs> I was there, maybe. But, you know, I did leave at 8.05 uh, p.m. and maybe he found out around uh, 8.17 uh, p.m. Maybe he didn't find out before I had left. So maybe he was concerned after I had left that, man, he missed the opportunity to have me down there. <laughs> so I will sign out here good things um i'm in good spirits he's uh he's putting the hard work in here he probably could be making a lot of money doing something else instead of doing his space mission tomorrow so you got to give him credit he is a good guy just an ordinary guy like you and you and i maybe you're a gal so he's maybe not like you if you're a lady but uh he is like most of us uh humans here on the planet so Ocean Camera Space Corp signing out. Thank you so much. Uh, happy, happy Friday. Maybe it's Saturday for you already, or maybe you're watching this in the future from another time zone or another dimension. This is the year of 2022 on the southern part of the United States in the great state of Texas. In five, signing out. <laughs>